Welcome back. Taking a full look at weather now with Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianga. Dan, I'm taking a look at your screens. Any more power outages or what is it you, you're tracking there? The next weather system. <laughs> Yeah. When does it arrive? So this, uh, on Wednesday. So there may be some power outages as it arrives here. Uh, you threw me there, Veronica. Uh, <laughs> there may be some power outages as it arrives. We will see a little bit of wind with it, but uh, uh, it's not going to be a huge system as far as wind is concerned. We are going to see some rain, though, so let's talk about that and uh, when it will arrive. So we zoom out a little bit. We still have some high clouds passing across the region tonight. And then offshore, you can see that cinnamon bun swirl of fun out there. This is an area of low pressure. Uh, that is heading toward us. In fact, it's going to move kind of right over central California as we head through the day on Wednesday. So we will get some rain from it as it passes by. The question is who gets how much and when it all actually happens. And I think I've got some good answers for you. So let's talk about that. Zooming right into our future track, showing a few high clouds passing through overnight. And then into the day tomorrow, we're going to start to see some cooling aloft. So temperatures above us will cool down a little bit. And ultimately, that is going to lead to cooler high temperatures for us tomorrow, even though I think most of the day we're going to have some sunshine, especially in the early parts of the day. So um, for most locations, we're going to see a decrease in our high temperatures from anywhere between two to five, maybe even more uh, degrees tomorrow afternoon. And then into the afternoon hours, we'll start to see southerly flow develop, and that may bring some more moist air back into more of the coast, which could lead to some low cloud cover later on in the day. So before sunset, even some low clouds possible around the bay. We haven't had much in the way of low cloud cover over the last couple of days. It's been dry. We've had offshore flow. All these things work against low cloud cover, but with onshore flow and an increase in moisture, they'll be back, my friends. And then eventually we'll have some rain accompanying it. It'll probably take until late tomorrow night, though. Future track is showing some precipitation entering western Santa Cruz County by 10 p.m. tomorrow night, and that is certainly a possibility. As the system gets closer, we'll start to see the potential for some precipitation the farther north and west you live. So best chances basically up here in western Santa Cruz County. And then those chances will increase the farther south and east as we head through the overnight tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. So this has a round of light precipitation coming in around 3 a.m. or so with maybe some brief moderate rainfall. So for you early bird commuters Wednesday morning, you may already be seeing some rain on the roadways so that may make things slippery for you. Now the good news is I'm not expecting any downpours with this system uh, or heavy, heavy rainfall. That's just not really in the cards with it, but enough that you might have to get to the windshield wipers to that max setting to really you know, start clearing things off for you. But it does look like that Wednesday morning commute is going to be a wet one. Um, no flooding issues and not a lot of wind with this system. It will be breezy, but not really all that windy with it. And then even 9 a.m. We'll continue to see some of this precipitation moving in across the Monterey Bay area before it finally starts to fizzle out as we head into the early afternoon. So again, this is going to be an early day situation on Wednesday and light to moderate rainfall is what is expected and wind speeds will be maybe 10 20 at the most 30 miles per hour. So while I'm not expecting any major issues with the wind, it's still possible we could rattle down a few tree limbs here or there. So to Veronica's point a little while ago, very isolated power outages will be possible, but you know, it's going to be in areas that are more prone to that. And you folks are probably ready for that anyway, because the last couple of years have proven that you need to be. We've just had a lot of issues with power outages from the peninsula to, well, Santa Cruz Mountains, especially the one area that I can think of that just seems to not have power half the time, it feels like. Uh, shower activity may linger for a few days after that with a couple of trailing systems. So we're going to be watching for some additional precipitation, but I think the bigger rain event will be Wednesday morning. Total precipitation with that, perhaps a quarter of an inch, half an inch at most as it moves through on Wednesday morning. So not a lot of precipitation, but enough to make those roadways wet. Quick look at your forecast temperatures tomorrow. Here's where we're headed uh, into the 60s, Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys and down to the coast. 50s up in the hills tomorrow across Santa Cruz County. South and east we go with 60s on the east shore of the bay and up into our northern valleys, upper 60s there. Uh, so really actually still seasonable to slightly warmer than normal temperatures for this time of year. Over to the peninsula on a late Monday or Monday, November afternoon, Monterey should typically be around 62. Looks like we'll get to around 65 tomorrow, so that is still above normal. And then farther south, you will get those temperatures in the upper 60s as well. It will be another cold morning, though. 
in many of our inland valleys with some patchy frost possible in areas that have probably already seen it over the last couple of days. So looking at that seven day forecast, temperatures will be cool as we head through the work week and again rain likely on Wednesday with a few showers lingering through maybe at the latest Saturday. Then it looks like we're dry after that and inland areas also some chilly days ahead. We're watching for some r additional rain chances after this first round, but right now nothing's really standing out being all of that troublesome. And the few waves that I'm seeing timing wise look like they might be overnight, but stay tuned to the forecast and we'll keep you up to date. Veronica. We will. If only we can include those cinnamon buns in the forecast. Oh, yeah. From the sky. That sounds good, right? Thank you, Dan.